What happens without including power of attorney in my estate plan? If you are incapacitated for some reason and you do not have a power of attorney, then it's very likely that somebody's going to have to file for guardianship over you, which means petitioning the court and getting legal authority over not only your person, but your assets as well and being able to control those assets. And again, this is a person, a, a, a judge in a probate court that doesn't know you, doesn't know anything about your situation and is making critical life decisions for you and financial decisions for you. And so having a power of attorney, in my opinion, is an absolute necessity for anybody that puts together a will. If you care enough about who gets what when you pass away, you should care enough about who's gonna care for your person or manage your assets if you become incapacitated. So I think those two things go hand in hand.